Some of you are still trying to cling on to life in this world, even though you've seen part one. So let me make it clear to you that I'm trying to speak at a slow rate, with an, a simple tone, a nice tone, right? Tone, tone of the martial artist, tone of the voice, authoritative utterance, hue, human, simple words, hue, ancient Egyptian word, right? It's a Greek word for an ancient Egyptian idea, I believe. It has been hijacked and twisted more and more over time, uh, depending on who's in charge. All right, whereas I give you the truth and the root. I am the root and the offspring of this truth. I'm going to give you a five-point series. The first video is about children and their submission and the focused right thing to do versus cowardice. Okay, and also um, sacrifice and a willingness to sacrifice in a very clear-cut manner. And why it is important and necessary to be good and why you shouldn't want to live if you can't be good. Why you shouldn't want your children to live if they can't be good. Number two, wisdom and intelligence based on behaviors. That's this video, based on behaviors. It's not enough to think. Those who follow a baboon would argue that. Thought as a baboon or a snake, right? Cunning, the snake is a symbol of, of intelligence, right? Fake wisdom, right? It's your behavior that determines what is wise. Number three, penetrating intelligence, wisdom, martial arts wisdom versus scientists having intellect using the Babylonian sort of Western scale. Okay, evil scientists serving evil. They couldn't possibly be more wise even at this point, even in popular culture. If you look carefully, the wise martial artist is elevated above the scientist, even now, because it is so insane to think that it is the other way around, they're going to need more mind control, drugging, and confusion to get you there. Number four, the natural female role defined by God and martial arts wisdom. Okay, what is the female's true role? Where is she truly happy? Where does she truly feel that intense feeling of life, being alive, being with the hero, right? Soaring away from evil, right? Being with the hero, facing evil, feeling alive. Why doesn't she want to feel alive? Why does she paint her face all white like a pale corpse? The pale moon, lunacy, lunatic, lunar cycle. Why? The world is evil. And the world is the feminine energy, the female energy. Only through the spirit of God can it be perfected. Number five, I'll talk about Eastern philosophy and technology as man's evil direction, a.k.a. being at peace with El Gotten Gains. Eastern philosophy, like the checkered floor, is like a floor where you can apply it a certain way. In the absence of someone definitively applying it, it is open for interpretation. The West definitively applies it in the wrong direction. Okay, So I will just explore that in part five. Eastern philosophy and technology is man's evil direction, a.k.a. being at peace with ill-gotten gains um, uh, and using uh, blood money and mindfulness. Right? Ill-gotten gains blood money and mindfulness okay let's also consider the shrinks right if there's so many happy customers why, why are they called shrinks where's the authentic uh you know opposition view in popular culture it didn't exist until all the big pharma greedy guys came out in force with their commercials and now we have a bunch of shallow scum pretending that psychiatry is wonderful so let's talk about wisdom and intelligence based behavior This has everything to do with a disagreement about playing stupid. Right? Playing stupid is stupid. It is the repetition. It is like eating a bunch of Twinkies every day, watching TV, and saying, I'm playing stupid about getting into shape, okay? And I'm still going to get into shape, right? I'm still in shape. No, you're not. It is the repetition of facing evil and conquering it that achieves wisdom. Ignorance, in this sense at least, is evil. Okay. It is applied wisdom that is wisdom. 
So at the lowest level, we have destruction, then earth, then animals and plants. Okay. Then we have people who are stupid, right? They at least have an excuse, but they're more like animals, right? They're born stupid, with all due respect. They're not they're not too bright. They're not bright enough to even consider the rest of the thing. Their their mental retardation is a good example. You know, just like animals and plants, I don't necessarily have something against them. But we must consider intelligence as part of why someone is a human versus why they're an animal. That's why I put them there. Then we have the, the too clever by half crowd. This is where a lot of the people who people see as intelligent fall in. The vast majority of people fall in this category. And it is heartbreaking. Right? They are playing stupid. What they have in common is they pretend the top martial artist that ends with me right, is not the leader. They pretend that that's the case, that they shouldn't submit. The things that they're playing stupid about leads them to not submitting to me. So they think playing stupid is smart, but playing stupid is stupid. The only way to be more stupid is to actually be stupid by birth. You have no potential to snap out of it. If you play stupid all your life, you die to stupid fuck. More than one way. You raise people to do the same, you, have, you come from a long line of people like that, you come from a long line of stupid fucks. And you are the example that proves that that is the case. And your children will be the examples as well. The next in line, in the, the next stupid is mediocre minds observing. They're not quite stupid, right? But they're mediocre minds, they're just observing. They're not questioning. The next is the mediocre mind that is questioning, but questioning the wrong people. The next up from there is someone on a path for themselves, right? They're not for God, right? They're thinking, but in a way that leads down, right? They're thinking effectively. They don't need to necessarily even, you know, they, they put, they're above the mediocre mind questioning the wrong people, okay? They are a fairly decent mind that's thinking, okay? The next above that is observing. They're a fairly decent mind, right? Observing, a fairly smart mind, observing. Okay, not decent, rather, for the other one as well. And they're observing in a way that leads down. The next one is the guy who's actually asking questions to the right people. But they're thinking and they're acting in a way that leads down. Right? They're asking, you know, people might, in my comments, ask the right questions. They might come off as nice. But they're thinking in a way and behaving in a way that leads down. Remember, this is wisdom and intelligence based on behaviors. Then we start seeing those who are observing in a way that leads up. Okay, we don't see many of those from what I gather. Right? It's hard to tell at this point, but we're getting very close to the end from what I gather. Okay. Then it is those who are questioning in a way that leads up. They're not quite following, but they're asking the right questions and they're behaving in a way that shows, truly so, right, truthfully so, that they are in the right direction, going in the right direction. Then there are those, this is the bare minimum to be, to start being wise, to start having a degree of true wisdom. No one up to this point is truly wise, right? They might be kind of smart, they might be clever, they might be kind of insightful. They're not wise. Wise men follow him, as the saying goes. They follow the truth as followers, right? They follow the truth as followers. The truth is the divine order. They see that insufficiency in themselves, like what sparring shows, mind, body, soul, brain function, and so on, okay? Where the sabotage hero with a reduced brain function is the ideal man. At this point in time where people are in rebellion, and they, from what I gather, they will always be. And if I die, it must be seen definitively so because it's ill-gotten gains. They'll have definitively kept Pharaoh the top martial artist, from reproducing. Therefore, nobody deserves to connect outside. You know, after that, straightforward. The natural leader that insists on truth is the wisest person. The way is the truth. The true way is the truth. The true life is the truth. So we see people outside of the divine order vying with their brain and mind to various levels. Okay. Even the person right below the followers, the questions in a way that leads up, right? 
even they can be seen as vying until they're following their vying. Right? Once they say, hey, my questions have led me to the logical conclusion that I should follow. Now, a lot of people might argue about the logical conclusion argument. It's stupid. If you jump off a very steep cliff that's, say, a mile above the ground, is the logical conclusion that you're going to die? Yes. Should you not jump based on that? Yes. If you want to live, of course, right? Now, this is as clear-cut when you explore it more and more as somebody not wanting to jump, right? God is far more intense than that cliff, than that death. Not defying God is far more important than not jumping from that cliff. These people are more stupid than somebody who jumps from that cliff when they don't submit to me. It is the end of wisdom. It is the end of honor, the end of martial arts, and every principle that goes with it, love, determination, dedication. Okay, Every principle that goes with it, focus. You cannot breed true focus, which is natural focus, or true any of those things, which is natural in an unnatural world, in a world that has screened out the true direction, the true bloodline that is meant to lead. It's like killing off all the humans and saying that a worm is the new human, but far worse and far more stupid to think that that could be the case. Thank you.